So the New Jersey Devils have an interesting summer ahead of them. The expectations were they would get back to the Stanley Cup playoffs here in 2020. They fell well short of that. They had the draft lottery the other day. They will be drafting 7th overall. We'll be taking a look at all that in this video. Some of the team needs there for the New Jersey Devils. Will they get back to the Stanley Cup playoffs next season? We'll be taking a look at that in this video. If you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. And let's take a look at the New Jersey Devils. So, the New Jersey Devils. Now, they had the draft lottery the other day. Unfortunately, they did not move up into the top three. They will not be drafting first overall for the third time in four seasons, but they still have some pretty solid players, Nico Hichier and Jack Hughes down the middle. But there are some holes on this team that really became apparent this season and unfortunately was their demise this season and they missed not you know not even just a regular 16 team playoffs it was a 24 team playoffs and they still missed so we'll be taking a look at that in this video so let's start things off so need number one for the new jersey devils this off season they need a right shot defenseman now there's a couple of areas where they could pick that up they could pick it up at the draft which we'll talk about later or they could pick it up in free agency. We're going to take a look at some free agent options here for the New Jersey Devils on the right side. Now, the big one is Dustin Bufflin. He's 35 years old. He'd probably come in on a one- or two-year contract. The Devils need a right-shot defenseman, and I think he would be a good bridge for possibly bringing in a defenseman at the draft, like we mentioned. So uh, that would be an option here for the New Jersey Devils to bring in Dustin Bufflin. He's the best defenseman available, in my opinion, uh, besides one other name, which we'll talk about. But Dustin Bufflin is a big piece on the right side. He would definitely help the New Jersey Devils bolster up that blue line. Now, the big name that is only bigger than Dustin Bufflin in this top group here on the right side is the St. Louis Blues captain, Alex Petrangelo. Now, the interesting thing is here, will he re-sign with the St. Louis Blues? That's still up in the air, whether he will stay with the St. Louis Blues or not. Uh, he hasn't signed pen to paper yet, so we don't really know. We're just going to assume that he will be available on, uh, you know, at the beginning of free agency. So the New Jersey Devils actually end up having a decent opportunity here at picking up a guy like Alex Petrangelo, who would hugely uh, bolster up that right side for the New Jersey Devils, be a huge piece for them moving forward. And I think this is a guy that the Devils should heavily be pursuing in free agency. Now, another name we've got, he's a little bit younger, uh, the youngest out of these guys on the list. Right shot defenseman, he's been playing with the Toronto Maple Leafs this season, Tyson Barry. Now, Tyson Barry has much more offensive potential. He's a great defenseman. I think this is a great replacement for a guy like Sammy Vatanen, who they lost at the NHL trade deadline to the Carolina Hurricanes. This could be a big pickup for the New Jersey Devils on the right side. He's probably going to command a decent amount of money as well. Uh, probably a, you know, a five or six year deal as well. So the Devils got to be careful here with Barry. He had a tough season with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Is he going to fit in with the Devils uh, plans and stuff like that? We don't know. But I think the Devils will be looking at a guy like Tyson Barry for sure. And the fact he's just going into his prime, definitely a piece that the Devils will be looking at. So now we're looking at a defenseman that's one year older. He's got had some pretty solid success in his NHL career. On the right shot, another puck-moving defenseman, Justin Schultz. Now he's currently with the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Pittsburgh Penguins are a little bit tight on the cap space department, so they will likely be letting Justin Schultz go in free agency this summer, and this could be a great pickup for the New Jersey Devils. This is a guy, honestly, if I had to guess, I could see him most likely going to the New Jersey Devils out of all of these names. Why is that? I think he has that. He's you know he's been playing in the Northeast for a while now. He's been playing with the Pittsburgh Penguins for a couple of years. Before that, he was up in Edmonton. I think Justin Schultz wants to stay in the Northeast. I don't know for a fact, but it's closer to home than a lot of these other teams that would be looking for a right shot defenseman. He's going to command some money, but I think this would be a very good investment for the New Jersey Devils. A solid puck-moving defenseman. He has some experience. He's been playing in the NHL for a long time now. This is definitely a must, an absolute must for the New Jersey Devils. So now we look at the last defenseman on this list as we have 34-year-old Mike Green. Mike Green is currently on the Edmonton Oilers. Will he look to resign there? I think Ken Holland will do his best to try and at least keep uh, Mike Green there maybe for a short term, maybe one or two year deal to stay up there in Edmonton. But I think Mike Green would be a nice, you know, a depth, uh, a depth guy. 
for the New Jersey Devils. Now, this isn't my my number one option for the Devils. I don't think they should overpay for a guy like Mike Green. He is no longer a top pair defenseman at this point. And the New Jersey Devils are looking for that really solid top four defenseman on the right side. I don't really believe they're getting that at this point with Mike Green. He's definitely regressed over the past couple of years. And I think Count Holland is going to try his best to keep him there in Edmonton. So I have Mike Green here on the list. But... You know, like I said, I think he's just a little bit older. I think Justin Schultz really is the top option here for the New Jersey Devils, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So now looking at the goaltending situation, they've had an issue with goaltending. Corey Schneider is well documented with his issues there, and they got to pay him six million for a couple more years, which stinks. But you know what? It's a right because they have a lot of cap space still. And they will be looking, I believe, for a 1B option. You have Mackenzie Blackwood, who I wouldn't, you know, you could say he's a starter, but I'm not completely sold on Mackenzie Blackwood yet. I'm I'm pretty solid. I would consider him more of a 1A option, and then they need a 1B option behind him. So some of the options that the New Jersey Devils have. 35-year-old Corey Crawford with the New Jersey, with the Chicago Blackhawks. He's won a st couple Stanley Cups, a great veteran. He would be a nice mentor for a guy like Mackenzie Blackwood and has that winning culture from that environment there in Chicago. He could definitely bring that into the Devils organization. I think that would be a great pickup for them. One of the downsides, though, to Corey Crawford is he's probably going to command somewhat decent money. He is already 35 years old, so long-term investment. You're not getting that out of Corey Crawford unless he becomes a scout or a manager somewhere. And he is injury prone. That was a big issue for Corey Crawford last season. He was experiencing a decent amount of injuries. And I think that could be a problem for him uh, going into another contract. Uh, but that would be a good thing, though, because they could maybe get him on a one- or two-year deal, uh, you know, based off the fact his age and his injury history. Uh, but the Devils, if they want a reliable backup, maybe Corey Crawford isn't the best option, but his personnel, like I said, to help out a guy like Blackwood, uh, if you're confident enough in Blackwood that he can play maybe 50, 60 games this season, I think you're okay with getting Corey Crawford. Uh, but that is going to be something that the New Jersey Devils have to think long and hard about this offseason. So now we look at, wow, he's already 32 years old. I'm shocked he's already this old. But 32-year-old goaltender, he's been bouncing around in Alberta between the Oilers and the Calgary Flames the past two seasons, Cam Talbot. Now, Cam Talbot is nowhere near that you know that starting potential he had when the Oilers traded for him back in the day from the New York Rangers, but he's still a pretty solid goaltending option, and I think this would be a good 1B option. He's still fairly young at 32 years old. He's had his way around the NHL, not a ton of success, but this could be a guy where they take a waiver on a guy like, uh, like Cam Talbot and just to see what he can do for the Devils. Now, the other option that the Devils also have is Aaron Dell. 31 years old. He's been playing with the San Jose Sharks two seasons ago. He had a really nice run with the Sharks this past season. Definitely not the case for Dell. He really struggled with the Sharks this season. One of the many flaws that the Sharks had this past season. Uh, but he is going to be looking for a new contract. He wants a new opportunity, probably on a lesser cap hit. The New Jersey Devils could look to bring in a guy like Aaron Dell. Now the top option that I have here for the New Jersey Devils. He plays in the metropolitan area down the road with the New York Islanders. He has been proven that he is a solid 1B option. He can play 1A, 1B between him, Robin Leonard, Varlamov. He has been able to put his workload in and been a very solid goaltender. Yes, Thomas Grice, 34-year-old goaltender, currently playing with the New York Islanders. He is a solid 1B option for the New Jersey Devils. This is the best fit for the Devils. He plays in the metropolitan area. He probably doesn't have to move too far from home. And let's be honest, he's probably the best goaltending option out of all of these goaltenders that I talked about. And I think he is, you know, at 34 years old, he's on a little bit of the older side, but this, you know, for a two or three year contract for Grice to mentor uh, a guy like uh, Mackenzie Blackwood, as well as continuing to be a pretty solid goaltender at his age, He's really not been too bad with injuries. He's been a pretty big goaltender. He's been pretty reliable. I think this would be a great option for the New Jersey Devils. And like I mentioned, out of the four goaltenders I mentioned, probably the best option available for the New Jersey Devils. So who do they have to extend this offseason? That's the next big question. So they've got to extend 
they still have a, a restricted free agent tag on guys like Jesper Bratt and Mackenzie Blackwood, who we were just talking about as the goaltending. So they got to fix Jesper Bratt. He's a top six forward, maybe a better middle six forward at this point. He, he definitely struggled this past off this past season. Two years ago in his rookie year, had a really solid year, but have you ever heard of the sophomore slump? So that may be the case for Jesper Bratt. Maybe he needs a little bit more uh, motivation now with the pandemic. He's had some time to work out more. Hopefully he used that to his advantage and be, you know, he could be a solid, reliable top six forward for the New Jersey Devils. Not to mention Mackenzie Blackwood, kind of the same story, just in between the pipes. But he had a really solid season with the Devils. If he wants to avoid that sophomore slump, though, he's going to have to play very well this coming season. And I think the Devils are pretty comfortable with him being the quote-unquote starting goaltender or the 1A option there if they decide to go that route. Uh, I think this is a really solid addition for the Devils. He's really played well there, and I really hope that he turns out well and becomes the starting goaltender there for the New Jersey Devils long term. So now they have to re-sign and extend some guys uh, on July 1st or whenever the extension period begins. You've got Kyle Palmieri and, yes, Nico Hishier. Nico Hishier will, will be up for an extension this offseason. So I would say that Kyle Palmieri and Nico Hishier, if they can get those two locked up long term, I think that will be the option that the Devils will look to go unless Nico Hishier decides to wait as long as he can. That is still an option as well. But I think if the Devils are smart and Hishier agrees he wants to stay with the Devils, I think it's smart that they both put pen to paper, get a deal done, and get that going. I think that will be the case for the New Jersey Devils. Now we've got the high coaching situation. There's been talk that they've interviewed a lot of different guys. They've looked at Eddie Olchek. They've looked at Lindy Ruff. They've looked at Elaine Nazardine, keeping him as the head guy there behind the bench for the Devils. So they have a couple of options that they've been looking at. Don't be surprised if they take a look at any of those guys. Uh, but I really believe that I think Lindy Ruff would really be the best option for the New Jersey Devils, not only to pry him away from the De from the New York Rangers power play system that he has there as an assistant, but I think this is a great addition for the Devils if they pick up a guy like Lindy Ruff. Those rumors have been out there. Uh, don't be surprised if they make a move in the coming weeks. General manager position, they let go of Ray Shiro. They've had Tom Fitzgerald. I think they're going to give a shot here to Tom Fitzgerald. I don't see any other huge general managers floating around. Unless they want Peter Shirelli, yeah, that's not happening. But I'm just, you know, all kidding aside, I think they're going to stick with Tom Fitzgerald here. We'll know by the draft. Uh, you know, if they let him take a draft pick here in the top ten with that seventh overall pick, I think they're going to they're going to know by then what they want to do. And I really, I believe it's going to be Elaine that uh, Tom Fitzgerald moving forward here for the New Jersey Devils. So leave in the comment section down below. What do you think? Of the New Jersey Devils, obviously the draft is coming up as well. What do you think the Devils will do at the draft? What do you think they're going to do with head coaching, general manager, uh, and things like that? And who do you think they could possibly pick up in free agency? All those questions, leave your answers in the comment section down below. And if you like what we're doing here at Goal Line Hockey, you want to see the latest news around the NHL, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.